I was here for maybe a day or two. And then I, I almost like went inside myself because I just like was like, what is this place? Like there's so much life. There's so much green. There's so much water. And like everybody's like so nice. They're always trying to offer me food and all that. And it was just a kind of like experience that I never had before in my life. And it was overwhelming. I was like, I don't know what to say about all this. I was like very shocked. Um, but like not in a bad way. It just took me time to kind of like see and experience this and to let my guard down really. Um, but that was two years ago now, you know, and now that I live here, it's, um, it's a lot easier than when it was when I first visited, but just that whole culture shock, that's a real thing. Cause so, you're dealing with like all this, this, you know, what we call the spirit of Aloha yeah. coming down on you. Yeah. And you know, a place I, I lived in Las Vegas for, you know, five years, not a whole lot of Aloha over there. It's mm -hmm. just not. Yeah, you know, I imagine the further east you go, you know, you kind of lose that sense and that spirit of sharing, and you know, just outward love for your fellow human. You know, yeah. so is that kind of what you experienced? Yeah, that was one hundred percent part of it. Um, Aloha is something that, like, I'm still learning, I'm still experiencing, and I'm also like now at this stage where I'm like, how can I contribute to that? Mm -hmm. Right. So it is like a culture shock at the end of the day for somebody who has not grown up here or maybe spent a significant amount of time. Um, but it's a beautiful thing to experience. And uh, it's very unique, I would say, to this island or the islands, you know, right? Hawaii is, is a beautiful place, but the people make it that way in yeah. a lot of way. Because so. at the end of the day, it's just, you know, a string of islands in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. It, it is the people that bring the culture and make it beautiful. You know, and keep it beautiful. Yeah. I think that that's what attracted me to even getting to know my wife was just like, there was something about her when we were in college that I was like, I kind of want to get to know her a little bit more. And yeah, it was cool that she was from Hawaii and everything like that. But just like who she is as a person, she exuded something um, that at the time I was like, I got, I got to know more about her. I got to like hang out with her. Um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. And it really like, I think that everybody here so far that I've met uh, on the Island, they exude that Aloha and it's a real thing. Um, and it, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, I think to like my friends and my family back home, like, what, what do you mean? Like, why would you go to an Island? Why would you live there? That's where we all go on vacation. No, there's actual people that live here and they work here and and stuff like that. And they're not in grass shacks and they're not paddling canoes. Well, somebody <laughs> paddle, some people paddle canoes, but you know, for recreation. <laughs> oh like, no. Not going to Vegas for college and people thought that, you know, we still lived in grass shacks and canoed around everywhere. Yeah. It's I like, think... do you know how to drive? It's like, dude, <laughs> we have cars. We have cars. Yeah. We have traffic, the worst traffic. No, it's for terrible. Real. Yeah. That's right. gotta be a culture shock coming from North Dakota. There's not gotta be no traffic in North Dakota. Do you guys have like stoplights? So we actually have uh, like horse and buggy. I don't know if you ever heard of that, but that's, you know. Like no, no, I'm kidding. We, we, have, we have cars. <laughs> I mean, they have that in Pennsylvania, right? You see those. Uh, my, my kids were kind of thrown back when they saw a picture of an Amish buggy and it yeah. had like the license plate and it had the orange triangle on the back Isn't of it. Isn't that like kind of crazy that that's still a thing <clears throat> like in America where you can find certain pockets and places and they're like actual Amish people, horse and buggy still, that like no electricity. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. I think it's awesome that we can have, can have, you know, mm -hmm. cultures and societies still like that in this massive country of ours that has so many different cultures. Yeah. And I, I guess real briefly, I'll say this, like that is another thing that makes Hawaii super unique. It's like very much a cultural melting pot of a place. So in North Dakota, where I'm from, like, it's very monoculture. Like, there's just kind of like, you know, one way of doing things and, and one, you know, culture, so to speak, not here at all. Like, it's very here, I feel as though there's like a lot of different cultures all in one place at one time. They're all existing. Um, and I think that that can also contribute to like that culture shock. You know what I mean?